What's up everyone, ADS Play 101 here and welcome to the Pokemon Unite test server here to take an early look at the next Pokemon coming to Aeos Island, Cerulege. It's an attack based melee all rounder with the ability to weaken the target's armor as well as increase its own damage to that target. Now like some people, as well as myself, I thought that when Cerulege was announced, I thought that Charcadet was going to have a split evolution kind of like with Scyther and Scizor. However, they only allow it to evolve into a Serral Edge. Now, I don't know if they're going to change this before it hits the main game, or if this is just what it is, or later on down the line we can get Armor Rogue, but as of right now, it seems like this is how it's going to be presented to us in the main game. So let's look at its basic attacks and its passive, which does change with the evolution. So as a Char Cadet, its basic attack becomes boosted every third attack dealing increased damage and its passive is called flame body which with every basic attack it deals damage around itself with flames and the ability goes on cooldown after it is triggered and as a serral edge its basic attack gets boosted every four attacks dealing damage twice on that fourth attack and anytime it uses a move it gains a boosted attack after its passive as a serral edge is weak armor and when this Pokemon takes attack based damage, its movement speed is increased for a short time. This effect can stack up to two times. If the Pokemon with this ability deals damage to opposing Pokemon with its basic attacks or moves, the Pokemon hit receive a wound. Life energy leaks out of these wounds causing damage over time. This effect can stack up to six times. If the effect stacks six times on an opposing Pokemon, that Pokemon takes increased damage from the Pokemon with this ability. So its first two moves is Lava Plume and Takedown. Lava Plume, as described, has the user torch the area around itself with an Inferno of Scarlet Flames, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits. The user's next basic attack on opposing Pokemon hit by this move deals increased damage. And Takedown has it charge in a direction dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits, and its basic attack speed is increased for a short time. So pretty much with Lava Plume, it increases the damage and Takedown increases the attack speed. Its first two moves as a Serral Edge is Bitter Blade and Phantom Force. Bitter Blade swings the sword in an arc, gives him HP recovery, and any HP recovery that exceeds his maximum health, uh, it gets converted into a shield. And, but it does take a while to charge up, so a good thing to do uh, if you don't want to sit there and wait is maybe charge up. You can move as it's being charged so as you're entering a crowd or entering towards a target or going towards a target excuse me it might be a good idea to charge it up that way you're not a sitting duck waiting for a swing the next move is phantom force which as described has the user dash and disappear into darkness where it hides for a short time while hiding it cannot move when this move is used again the user appears at the designated direction while slashing around itself dealing damage that ignores defense and shields to opposing Pokemon it hits and applying slowing effect to them. If this move hits opposing Pokemon its cooldown is reduced. So as you see he disappears into the ground, turn the cooldowns on, And as you see, you can actually decide where you want to go. It, as it's described, it does ignore defense. So this is good against tanks. Good, especially if you're trying to like avoid uh, getting hit. And as you know, it does go through walls. The second set of moves is Psycho Cut and Flame Charge. Psycho Cut, as described, has to use a launch of blade formed of psychic power in a designated direction, dealing damage and applying a slow effect to opposing Pokemon it hits. Opposing Pokemon hit by this move had their defense decrease for a short time. If the user hits an opposing Pokemon with a basic attack, this move's cooldown is reduced. Next up we have Flame Charge. Has the user cloak itself in flame and charge in a designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and hits. The user's basic attack speed is increased for a short time after this move, and it has two stocks.
And to answer any questions, yes, Flame Charge can go through walls. Its Unite move is called Revenant Rend. He dashes towards a target, and any Pokemon hit gets stunned and then hit with three slashes afterwards. This move, even though it can target a single Pokemon in a line, it actually hits multiple Pokemon and is intended to be used towards groups. For any Pokemon that gets hit with that dash, be it a single target or a group, gets stunned, and then every one of those Pokemon that got hit by that dash gets three slashes afterwards. Sarah Ledge seems like a pretty fun Pokemon to use, and I'm pretty sure he's going to become a favorite in a very short time after he's released. As of today, there is no release date for him, from what I can see, but I'm pretty sure within the next week or so we're going to get one. Keep in mind that this is a test server version of Sarah Ledge, and I'm pretty sure there are going to be some changes coming when he gets into the main game. But until then, thank you guys for watching my quick overview of Sarah Ledge and the test server. And I'll see you guys on Ailes Island.